Hello guys, if you're familiar with Laravel starter kits, one of them is Laravel Breeze, and I've been always thinking about Laravel Breeze as authentication starter kit for new Laravel projects. But recently I realized it's also a convenient way to install Tailwind in your fresh Laravel project. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you have a fresh Laravel project and you want to introduce Tailwind, Tailwind has a documentation for that, pretty convenient documentation, and there are a few steps. So you need to install the Tailwind, then initialize that, then edit the Webpack file, then edit the Tailwind config file, and then add these to your app CSS, and then run npm install and npm run dev or npm run watch. So there are like six or seven steps in various files and you need to kind of know what all those means. Instead, what we can do is install Laravel Breeze into a project. So I do Laravel new project, totally fresh Laravel project, and then I will CD project and install Laravel Breeze. So CD project, composer require Laravel Breeze, and then PHP artisan Breeze install. It's clear, PHP artisan Breeze install, and then npm install and npm run dev like this. So successfully installed and now let's take a look at the code that has been generated by Laravel Breeze. First the package JSON. As you can see Breeze installed Tailwind, post CSS with import and even Tailwind CSS forms. So exactly what Tailwind needed. Then Webpack Mix.js is also configured for Tailwind with auto prefixer and post CSS import. Then Tailwind config.js is also generated, a bit longer than the default suggested by Tailwind and a bit different. The difference in the Tailwind documentation that it suggests to export the files of JS and Vue, assuming that you will use Vue.js, but in this case maybe you won't use Vue.js, so what is needed for the Blade files to be compiled properly in resources views will compile everything, will compile all the CSS classes that are used in the Blade files then in the storage framework and then also pagination. So everything related to Laravel and then a few things related directly to Laravel Breeze, which you can remove if you want. Theme, the default theme is this one and then plugins for Tailwind forms. So even if you don't use those directly, it shows you the example of how to use the theme and the plugins. And finally, app CSS is generated exactly according to the Tailwind documentation. So now as a result of that in the blade files of Laravel Breeze, it extends guest layout, for example, or app layout. There are different few layouts, app and guest, which are configured for assets of app CSS and app JS. And now you can continue just using Tailwind in that design. For example, if we run npm run watch to watch the changes to recompile every time. And now we go, for example, into login blade and change something like for example, margin top four for the email, build successful in the corner, and we refresh and we have a bigger margin now, so you are free to use any Tailwind classes that you want. Or if you don't like the Laravel Breeze theme and layouts and all of that, you can totally remove resources views auth, use maybe layouts one of those, remove the components, remove app HTTP controllers auth here, change the routes web to not include auth here and then continue with your own custom design, custom theme, but with Tailwind included. And this is powered if we go to Laravel Breeze source by stubs and some of them include exactly what we need. Tailwind, Webpack, for example, Webpack Mix.js is a stub from Laravel Breeze. So basically it copies those files on top of default Laravel files, which are empty by default or almost empty. So all of those are in the stubs of Laravel Breeze. So what do you think about this kind of life hack? Not install Tailwind manually, but instead install Laravel Breeze and then use Tailwind like this. Or maybe you have other way to install Tailwind in your Laravel project, share in the comments below. Or if you want a ready-made admin panel with Tailwind, one of our types of generators in quick admin panel, there are three types, so jQuery, Vue.js, and Livewire Tailwind. So this Livewire Tailwind uses full tall stack, including Tailwind, and it uses the theme called Notice.js by Creative Tim. So if you want the dashboard to look something like this, you can try to generate your admin panel in our quickadminpanel.com. That's it for this time, and see you guys in other videos.